Hello and welcome. Today's video will be rather short. I just want to be showing you two small cool features I recently added to my or the Kickstarter configuration and that maybe you find useful as well and want to add to your configuration as well. So without further ado, let's jump straight into NeoVim. I have my browser on the right side and NeoVim on the left side and I want to add a new R terminal. So let's do that right now in NeoVim. Actually, I added IPython accidentally. So let's do that again and move it down here and send some code to it. Now we have a data frame or rather a tibble in this case, which is the Palmer Penguins dataset. And it's nice enough seeing it in here, but sometimes we want to see more detail like this cool full screen viewer we can get in our studio, for example. Uh, we can get something similar very easily um, using the DT package which is an interface to the data tables library. If you don't have it installed yet, you can install it using install packages in your R console. Um, and then what I used to do is just use a, this function, data table, to send this here and send it onto the console. And it opens it in, your, in our browser. If, you, if it doesn't open in your browser, you might have to look, look into configuring your default browser and this might be in different places. For example, you might have to look through the MIME types list. Um, I had to do that in my case because it is not opening a link, it is opening a plain HTML file and different browsers that you might install or different software might claim that they want to open this. So it might override your default. So you have to look into this list again. Now we have this open here and what I added to my configuration or the configuration you will see online as well also Let's uh, open it via GitHub. This configuration here is a key binding to just send this to the console. So just press either R key for show an R table and we get this. It just sends the same thing we just did manually in here. Okay. Next thing I want to show you is, I guess I deleted this thing accidentally is working with R and Python in the same environment and sending data between those two. Because there's this amazing reticulate R package, which allows us to open an R or a Python session from our R terminal. And then we can work in there and we can access code from R from Python and do the other way around. Um, so in R, we just load the reticulate package. And then we can define some variables in R. For example, now we're still in R here, but what I want to show you now is if I render this document using the Quarto preview, what's happening is uh, this Python code that's following here is executed actually inside of the R terminal from by the reticulate package. So we can access variables from R by using R dot. And it's all executed. So here we even do a scatter plot in matplotlib with variables we actually recreated in R. Now, interactively, this is a bit differently, right? Um, because right now we have the terminal down here and if we send text, we, we still ex execute in the R terminal. Uh, but in the reticular package, um, I think there is the, here we go. Python REPL, uh, REPL Python, there's the REPL Python function, which now you see it opened a Python REPL in here, and this knows about the R stuff. Um, and we can execute regular Python code in here. Uh, import NumPy. I forgot a couple. Let's make this this. And if we now exit, if I type in exit, we are back in our R console. Uh, so hello would not exist because it's from Python, but we can go ahead, hi, hello, and now we can access it. And it automatically, so the, the reticulate package automatically converts between the data types, which is kind of handy. 
Now, it would be very handy if we don't have to open the Python REPL when we do want to send Python code, and then we have to close it again when we send R code again. So I wrote something for this in the configuration. And that means if I now run R code, it just runs in the R console. But if I run Python code, it automatically, you see here, it automatically opens the, Py the REPL, now sends our code. And if we can keep keep going in here, we can keep sending Python code. But as soon as we we send R code, it automatically exits the REPL. And now it errors because I guess we did not execute this line actually. So it doesn't know about this pi variable. So we need to make sure we run this actually top top to bottom. And now it's also working in here. So here again we define a couple of variables in R. Because for example, the statistical tools would be nicer in R or just to randomly sample sampling from a normal distribution. But then we can still use Python to plot stuff. I don't know why you would use matplotlib over playing in R and using ggplot. I guess the most use cases would go the other way around where you have some data in Python and you want to plot it in R. But whatever you are more comfortable with. So this gives you all the tools. And I hope you enjoy this and you can add this to your configuration as well. And I'll see you in the next one.